Hi, so I'd like to talk to you about, in a DWI case, looking at the actual timing from the stop of the car to when they made an arrest and why that might be a key part of your defense in your case. Hi, my name is Larry Newman. I want you to come on over. My practice focuses on DWI defense up in the upstate region of New York. And today I'd like to talk to you about looking at the numbers in your DWI case. The police are generally going to give you more than the tickets. They'll probably give you what's called a 71030. That's kind of like a bill of particulars. It's the probable cause elements. It, there's little boxes on it, little checkoffs. Uh, how they plan on proving the driving of the car, the operation. How they plan on proving that you were intoxicated. How they plan on proving this element and that element. Take a look at that 71030 sheet. It's a long, like 11 by 14. Sometimes it's like looks like almost like a Xerox or it's you know it it's kind of uh, very very thin paper But take a look at the numbers if you can read them between the time that they stopped the car and Also the time that they made the arrest for the DWI The difference between those two numbers is how much time that the police actually spent with you before they made what's called the arrest decision they need to have enough probable cause before they can make an arrest for DWI. Now, I've seen cases where they made the decision within three minutes and they had down all these tests. And a couple of questions came to mind. First off, how were they able to do all those tests in three minutes or do them well within three minutes, instruct the test, give the test, score the test all within three minutes, and then also make a decision to make an arrest for a DWI within that time frame. So too fast is a problem in that particular instance. But the other thing is, what if you see that there's a 20 or 25 minute difference or a 30 minute difference between the time of the stop of the car and the time of the arrest for the DWI? Well, maybe the police officer or officers had their doubts whether you truly were DWI and they kept on doing test after test after test and looking at you and checking you out and everything else. Maybe they were on the, they were on the fence, so to speak, about whether they were going to make an arrest for DWI. So looking at the numbers in the case, that's one of the first numbers that I look at to look at the difference in time or the time that they did certain things. If you have questions about your DWI case, defense to your DWI case, Give me a call or shoot me an email. I'd be more than happy to discuss it with you. And thanks for watching this video.